Okay. Hello, my fellow Alliance members. I am more to me for a life, and we are back in RimWorld. We are now in Alpha 17, and we are going to start off with the World Enders. Yes, not all mods have actually updated to the Alpha 17, but most of them have, and all the ones that are of extreme importance should be able to be fed into this game as we are going along. So, we are going to go with our World Ender scenario. We are going to go with Rough. And I have tried recording this one time, and we wound up with like a crashed desktop type scenario, but it could just have been my computer because a train was going by making interesting noises and rocking my house. So, while that was interesting, we are going to try this again. We are going with the world enders, and we are doing with 100% coverage. And let's generate. Now, this has taken quite a while before. So, we will just get into some of the ideas I have for this particular scenario, in case you were not here for my last uh, playthrough. The point of the World Enders, they are Alliance. I need to turn off my notifications, because that's going to be annoying. Anyway, um, they are Alliance members from the series Firefly, and their job is to come here and try to get these people to bend to their will. And everything on my computer is updating like I didn't have my computer on two minutes ago. Weird. Anyway, uh, there we go. There we go. Anyway, their job is to either annihilate said factions or to... Um, well, I guess you could say bend them to the Alliance will. I forgot where I was going with all of this. I am so sorry. That whole updating and everything else kind of just threw me. I had actually found a seed that would have worked. Now I'm going to find it again. Uh, over here somewhere, I think. Temperate forest. Uh, 40 days. Is there any way we can get somewhere close to here that is year-round? That is impassable. Huh. Uh, what about uh, right here? Year-round slate and marble? That uh, works. This will give us a good starting off point because we are going to be traveling to every place on this map before leaving this map and setting up alliance colonies and updating my freaking computer. Stuff. I am doing stuff. Okay, um, before being able to leave or build our own ship, we must be able to take down every single one of these colonies. We are going to start with the ones that are already hostile and move on to the ones that are friendly. And I do have the more vanilla factions, that way we can still keep um, some alliances going, that way we are still able to trade. Because, well, a venture of this magnitude requires financial backing, and of course the alliance is not very good with um, doing their normal... Oh, wow, what's going on there? No, we are not going with any of those. We are going with the World Enders preset. There we go. And of course there are some that are missing, but we are going to go with these guys anyway. They do have a majority of their um, bionics. They do have a lot of their traits still here, so everything else is working very, very well. And I do apologize if you hear any noises in the background. It is the weekend when I am recording these, this beginning of the series. So um, of course I've got people here who are... Uh, what is this? I guess you can roll the dice here. Uh, there are people who, who are actually just like working around the house and making lots and lots of noises. So, um, points spent. You know, I'm not even worried about this. This is a, a very OP thing. So we are just going to go with them the way we had them originally. And if they don't have particular bionics at this point because they were part of another mod, we can always install them later. Better pun control. Now this is a mod feature. Um, well, now be assigned to squads. Uh, configure policies by setting outfits and areas. Let's see, how do you use? Create a policy either for animals or colonists by clicking the dented wheel icon. Select the active to activate, hold on, select and activate a new created policy. Configure the policy by setting the areas or outfits, etc. as you always do. And then done. Repeat this process for other policies and then change between them with one click. Now that is impressive. We are just going to have to see how this goes. No em empathy for the unassimilated. By unassimilated, I mean they are not bionic. 
if that's the word. Probably not. Unit today is on the horizon. Until then, we are monsters, which is actually a uh, phrase that is used, and not until I am a monster is used by uh, by the operative in the Serenity movie, which is the extension of Firefly. Woo! Okay, now this mod is different. I am going to see if I can make this a little smaller. Can I change the size of this thing? What's this? Ah, there we go, there we go. Uh, can I do that? Okay. Let's just move that over there. That's not going to be of necessary use right now. Uh, select similar defensive positions. Yes, there are some new mods that we are going to have to explore. Uh, allow everything. And let's just take a look at our map. Wow, this whole side over here is just a mountain, just a huge, huge mountain. Uh, it's actually looking quite similar to one that I have done before. It might have been when I originally tried to use the seed and it didn't, the, the save didn't hold. Okay, well I'm thinking in here because we already have a place for the steam geyser. Are there any other steam geysers near this location or are we gonna have to go way out in order to find more? Um, I'm think. oh, there's one right there, which are going to afford us the most power. There's another. So they are really, really spread out all over the map. There's no way I can possibly get to a whole lot of them, but this one would be very well protected if we make our home here. So that having been decided, let's go ahead and get a zone, a stockpile for all of our items and set everything over here. Um... That's like six out, so let's go with uh, chopping some wood. And we are going to do, let's see, structure. And we're going to put just a wood wall there and then put a roof on it. There we go. And let's get everybody moving. Moving really fast. Let's get everything down here. Hunter lacks a ranged weapon. Well, they can get all of the weapons down here, and we do have all of our animals. So, let's get these guys set up. Now, they won't be able to hunt for us yet because that mod has not been updated. But as soon as that mod is ready, I can activate that one in the save game. Um, activate an animal policy. You know, I might have to tinker with the policies and everything off camera. That way I can actually figure out what is going on there. And this can be deconstructed for parts. Looks like we've got a lot of raccoons floating around, don't we? Nice. All right, and we have already cut the wood. So, um, do we want to go with <laughs> All right, do we want to go with a bunk? What is this? Wild heel root. Nice. Now, I want to be very careful about accidentally harvesting these things before they're ready because they may not grow back if I do it that way. Okay, is that everything? Or do we need more room? Do we need more room? Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger and expand the roof a little bit. Like that. Just to be sure. Yeah, they're still going to get stuff. Okay, do we want to go with a bunk style or do we want to go ahead and start forcing the issue of making sure we have like a proper thing. It's a waste of resources really to go back and build one or the other. So, let's see. I don't see any rich soil around here, honestly. But we do have, let's see, not more floors, floors. We do have the ability to do tilled soil and I'm seeing some interesting vanilla floors. The limestone tile, the sandstone flagstone, sandstone flagstone. Whoa, that one's gonna be difficult and limestone flagstone. Cool. Alright, and then they have the tile. We have all of our normal tile. Now, wood floors are actually flammable now. Not hugely flammable. Uh, what are these? As far as flammability. Okay, those are not flammable. Uh, are any of these others, like, flammable that we should know about before we start building with them? Okay, and those are actually have a beauty to them. But, as far as I can tell, just the wood floor is flammable. Yes, 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 yes. 
I guess that kind of makes sense. And if I'm not mistaken, the carpeting is flammable as well, which is understandable. That is very understandable. All right, structures. Let us, how do we want to do this? I think a stone cutter's table and getting on that would probably be the best bet. So let's go ahead and set up a zone somewhere to start bringing some of that in. Let's put it, I don't know, right here. And I really just want clear all, we just want the chunks over here. Don't really care for the corpses. And we can just clear this. Let's zoom in just a little bit more and get all of those hauled over there. Uh, we don't need to haul urgently. Just whenever you get done with everything else, that's fine. All right, the first thing I think is, well, let's set up a growing zone. Where shall we set this up? Uh, probably right in the middle, I think. Let's just start with... Uh, oh, stop, guys. You're going way too fast. Let's start with rice. Uh, let's deconstruct this. And, yeah, that will work. He's stopping to have a meal. That's nice. And since we've got the garden here, let's just make the kitchen right off of it. So we are actually going to need a stone cutter's table rather quickly because I don't want to use wood. It's kind of a waste of resources. And I would prefer not to waste resources. The Alliance is not about wasting resources. We are about getting the job done. There we go. And let's see. What have we got the most of over here? Is this slate? I don't want the stockpile. Yes, that is slate. So let's make bills for slate blocks. And let's do this until we have... Uh, I don't know. That seems... Uh, ingredient radius. Let's go a little bit smaller. I don't want them going all the way across the map. Let's just do in our area and our stockpile. Uh, slate chunks. Paused when satisfied. Uh, yeah. Pause at... Let's go to right there. That way they don't immediately have to start jumping on it again. Alright. Give us some blocks so I can start doing some stuff. Let's do this. Let's get a structure going. We are going to go with slate blocks and let's see how we want a kitchen. Let's go with, yes, we know we don't have enough in the stockpile. Let's go with something like this. And actually that probably should be the freezer because everything needs to come out of the garden and straight into the freezer. And that would make that a whole lot simpler. And the freezer needs to be a decent size because we are going to use, um, I think that should work. That's not even. That's going to bother me. No. Not even at all. Actually, I kind of like where these are set. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's move these down and uh, take these off and these off and build a copy of this and this and put this one back in. Okay. And that can get done. Nice. So this is going to be our freezer. And let's see, our kitchen. Uh, is that all we have? Yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. Probably should have two stone coated tables to start with, but that'll work. All right. And then our kitchen, I guess, can be right here. No, 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 no. We don't need the kitchen that big. Do we? No, we don't need the kitchen that big. Um, let's go with right here, all the way to here. And that should be enough room, I think. Yeah, we'll put one of the, the butchering table here and the cooking table here and maybe additional cooking table here. And that should work. And let's put a door here and a door here for now. That works. And since we are, we've already designated our freezer, we should probably go ahead and put the cooler in. And put one here and here. There we go. These guys are going to be so mad at me for getting the kitchen set up before I got their bed set up. But that's okay. Do I hear howling in the distance? I think that's I think that's what I hear. 
expand roof area. Let's expand it for the entire thing here. There is enough wood in place to hold, all, I mean, enough stone in place to put all of that up. There we go. And not expand allowable area. Let's do a stockpile for the food here. Storage. Uh, clear all. We are going to go with preferred. And we want meals and raw food and chocolate. And I guess we could put all of these in here for starters and animal corpses for now. I would like to put a separate freezer for the animal corpses. There we go. And I do want to go ahead and throw down a joy source. They're going to get kind of upset with me for, you know, just not prioritizing having the beds. So let's have that. And we do have a billiards table, which we had before, but we do now have a poker's table, which is going to be interesting to see what happens. All right, and then we need temperature, we need power. Yes, power. How shall we set this up? Hmm. Which do we want to go with first? I I'm thinking wind power. Yeah. Let's put one here. And I kind of want to deconstruct this entire wall right here. Orders deconstruct. And let's just start there. And power, we need a power conduit that runs. Nope, nope, nope. On right there. And then all the way up here. And then we, are, of course, are going to need a battery, which can go here for now. And let's just put a, a roof over it to make sure it's protected. There we go. And now we need to... Let's get some rooms. These guys are going to get very, very testy with me for having not prioritized them some bedrooms. Okay, um, how do we wish to do this? Uh, production can be over here, maybe? Actually, the room should be over here in production on this side, because this is where all the stockpiles are going to have to be. That's where they're going to pull the resources from. So, let's go with this and... Yeah. One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, cancel that one. Let's stop them before they start doing stuff again. And go ahead and put some doors here. Actually, uh, put that one there. And... Nope, nope, nope. Build a copy like this. Door on that side, door on that side. Cancel that one and put the door right there. There we go. Alright, now that's three rooms. Pretty generous sized rooms, actually. And I do have a couple 2x2 two two and hands of blue. So let's go ahead and do their furniture first. That way it gives them both of their beds. And how are we doing on wood? We're still doing good. All right. What are we missing on this? Just the work, okay. Now, is there anything? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of stuff in the way for this one. Not mine, chop wood. Let's get all of this wood out of the place, out of this place some smaller trees here. Let's go ahead and get those out too. Let's get that thing going. All right, now that we've got some of those, let's get a bed here and a bed here. And I'm going to go ahead and set the owner so nobody else takes it. Assign two by two and hands of blue in here. All right. What are y'all doing? Uh, they're kill killing- oh, good heavens, they ate the whole thing. Good grief. 
I guess I probably should have done something about that. Um, are there anything? Uh, there we go. Rats. That will work. Let's just take out all of the rats. And we need our... Oh, good heavens. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see. Who are our real hunters? Oh, I haven't even set up priorities. Everybody's just doing everything. Okay. You need to be doing it. And I need to give you some backup. Is there anybody who's got above a 10? Yeah. Let's take everybody else off of hunting so they continue working. Actually, I'm going to put you on four. Not Stitch. He does not need to be hunting. Uh, two by two can help when he's got time. Operative can help when he's got time. And Hands of Blue can as well. Okay. Uh, Dr. Mathis, you do get a weapon. Interviewer, you get a weapon. Two by two, you get a weapon. Hands of blue, you get a weapon. Jubal, come claim your weapon. Stitch, you do not get one. There we go. Daggum. Hands of blue was waiting. All right. You know, whatever, whatever works for you, man. Whatever works. You know, a little testy there. Let's remove that flooring. It's just kind of in the middle of everything. Okay, we've got three rooms. And that actually takes care of four people, so we actually need only three more bedrooms. And I am thinking maybe going this way with them. How much did that wind up being to get the three rooms? Um, plans, it was uh, 16. Let's go this way. 16 by 7. So actually 6 like that. Okay. Now we just need we need some more of this guys. Just a little bit. Oh, we can't do it there. Um, Let's shift it down because I think we can still fit it in here. 8. Let's take 8 off the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should give us the room. Yeah, that will work. Uh, and then... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That'll work, that'll work! All the way across, we are going to have to line a little bit out. I want them to be able to walk around the sides anyway. Do not build that center one. I don't know if that's lined up right. Don't do that one yet. I don't know what that was. Did someone take somebody out? Rad revenge. Oh no. Operative, are you okay? Alright, and we did... Four and then five. Okay. One, two, three, four, and... One right there, one, two, three, four, and right there, one, two, three, four, and that should be it right there. And that gives us three more rooms. We need doors, that side, that side, and semi in the middle. That'll work. And can we can we get the trees out of the building, please? I would, I would really like that. That one too. Alright, now that they're working on that, which is the next step, since we already had food, I wanted to make sure we had plenty of stuff to work with. Uh, let's go with the butcher table here, and I'm gonna go ahead and go with the electric stove, even though I'm not sure that we have the stuff for it just yet. I don't think we have enough electricity, so... Yeah, we don't even really have enough for this. Let's drop these down to 16. That will work. And let's get some more power lined up. We can put these back behind the houses. Just like that. There we go. And let's take these guys out as well. Alright, I would say this colony is coming along wonderfully. 
Wonderfully. Okay. Um, simple meals. Let's go with do until you have. We're gonna go with 35. And we are gonna pause at 25. And we are gonna go with butcher cre creature for yeah forever. Let's just do that one forever. What else was on here? Mints, organs, and mints, limbs. Ooh, that could be useful for the animals, though. Alright, on the wildlife front, do we have any animals that we should be concerned about? Do we have any predators here? We should be the only predators on this map. Um, I'm not seeing any. So we just need to get some hunting done. Let's go after these raccoons, like these. And a few squirrels to add a little bit of variety. Oh, that's a lot of squirrels, actually. And let's get some tortoises in there as well. We need a nice variety of meat to keep our... We have, we have to have the protein for this little endeavor. Okay. Now that all of those are going, we should actually be lining up a lot of power very quickly. So let's put some power conduits here. Yes, Colonist needs beds. I almost forgot. One there. You know, we actually should probably go ahead and make double beds. No, no, no. I can't see this one. It's dark. Okay, there we go. Nice. I think that about covers everybody, actually. Now then, we can actually put in some flooring. Let's see, more floors. I want to lighten this area up. Because it is going to be rather dark using a whole bunch of... Um, do I do a light pun? Huh? Are these actually flammable? Yes, those are flammable as well. And honestly, I would rather do st sterile tile inside the freezer if I could. I don't think we really need to spend the money in that way, though. We kind of need that. So what about... Mm, let's go with paved tile. Right there. Put it in the doorways. For this utility area. And then for the insides, granite, slate, marble. Really don't want to go with dark tiles. Hmm. So let's go to more floors and do some light wood. I'll bring some light into these buildings just a little bit. And then a light wood here as well. There we go. I would say we have actually come a long way in our first episode. We have already got all of our basics in. Now, I would say that... Well, why have I got this paused? They can continue to run. I would say that this could be a very quick thing. Did they already do this or did I forget to go across the top? I forgot to go across the top. Okay. Now, these episodes should be coming in rather quickly. I'm going to try and have one up a day on this channel, even if I do other videos. So I will be recording these in batches probably on the weekend and then uploading them as the week goes on. So if you do have a comment, leave it down in the comment section. But I will only be able to implement suggestions and everything at the beginning of another uh, recording series. But I will definitely be reading your suggestions and reading your comments and implementing them as I go along. So for this episode, I hope you've had a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful five o'clock somewhere. Bye-bye.